Hey, I was chatting with one of the person I'm coaching, and he was telling me how how some people are really triggering him and putting him in a state of anger, in which he's, he has no choice than either withdrawing or being very confrontational. So basically, he's reactive and. That's one of the three F's. That's a fight, flight, or freeze. And um, when he was telling me about that, and when he was telling me about the, the behavior of the people that were triggering him, I was feeling more tense. And I realized that uh, I'm triggered by exactly the same thing. So I was thinking, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I am certainly not able to, to help him right now. So what would be the right questions, what would be the right observation to make. And it happens, we both know someone who has a very specific behavior with people. And what I did was to ask, what would that person do? And we, we shared our observations about that person. That, that person is really fantastic. So usually what he would do uh, will be Things like he will smile, he will laugh, <laughs> he, he will hug people as much as he can, and he will name the person, be calling them by their first and last name, as if they were the most important people in the world. This is very interesting because it's giving him the time to recenter himself and to be really receptive and not reactive to what will happen. And at the same time, it's probably shifting the, the mindset of the people in front of him because it's providing so much consideration that it's, it's difficult to confront someone like that. You, you probably want to collaborate with him. So we were trying to reflect on that. And I'm, I'm curious about what would you do when you, you feel that the person in front of you, you're definitely willing to help them, uh, but basically you're triggered by the same things. So what kind of advice uh, would you provide? See you in the comments and um, enjoy. Have a good one.